Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we have a showdown. Julius Caesar, the great battles of Julius Caesar versus the Cube for Me storage solution. Now, more specifically, the great battles of Julius Caesar has seven and a half counter sheets with it. I've done the math, that's about 47,632 counters, give, give or take a few. My math might be a little bit off, but you get the idea. This is a lot of counters and the storage solution from Cube for Me is four of these counter trays that interlock and they're relatively thin. So our challenge is this, can we fit all of these counters in an organized fashion into these Cube for Me storage trays, then get it back into the box? Now I'm gonna go punch and clip these. I should be back in a few years to see if we can get them inside these storage trays. So don't go away. So we are back. It's about five days since I sh shot the introduction there, and it was not an uneventful interlude. Uh, Christmas happened, so we celebrated that, and in the course of trying to punch these, kind of clip these 2,000 plus counters, there are about 2,065, I think, give or take a few in the whole set here. Uh, I did, they did break my counter clipper, so Caesar won its match against the counter clipper, had to glue it and drill it back together to get it working and finish off the last 500 ca counters here. So it was an epic, contest of counter clipper versus Julius Caesar there for a few days. But it's five days later and we've got all 2,065 counters clipped and quite amazingly into these four trays that are the storage solution for Julius Caesar. Um, I can talk a little bit about it here. There are one, this top tray here is a thicker tray. I'll show it on its edge there. And in these trays here, you can uh, hold about six or seven counters high. Six comfortably, seven if you really force it a little bit. So that means each one of these compartments can hold nine times six, which is 54 times 20, which is over a thousand counters can go in this larger container here. And what happened, which, what you want to do with these two is if you get these, you want to look on the, the website for Cube for Me because they have photo images of what counters go in, you know, a rough plan for what counters go into which compartment. And for the most part, I use that as a guide. I changed it a little bit as I went on later. But it worked really great because here we have the opponents of Rome that have the counters that have a lot of similarities. So these are Simbri light infantry, and this is all Simbri light infantry. You get a ton of them. So these types of counters ended up going into this taller one, as well as a lot of the, the, the markers here, not the unit counters, but the markers. Now I did have some that I thought were going to be hard to find in here, so there was kind of a blend of these markers. So I was a little bit wondering how that's going to work functionally, but I did find a solution for it as I was able to go through and punch out more of the counters. So so this is the larger one here, and again, there's a lot of counters in this. Now, there's two ways you can store these. You can either store them with the covers on each one of the, the, the trays here, or because they interlock, I could store these, the bottom ones, could nest up into that top one with the covers off, and that'll save a little bit of vertical space as you're putting it back in the box. I, at the moment, I'm kind of liking them with the covers on, just for kind of pulling them out and ease of access and stuff like that and keeping things nice and organized. Now, this is a thinner tray. These other trays are thinner and not as tall as and deep as this the first tray that we looked at. These fit about three counters comfortably in each, three counters high in each one. You can go four in a pinch, so you're talking 27 to 36 counters in a segment here times five times 20 you get it about 500 counters you can do in one of these shallower ones these worked out great really easy and i the thing that i really like about these i like that they're transparent i like that they're shallow so you can really kind of just put the counters flat like this very visible i think it's super accessible for a big game like this I can just imagine how much easier this is going to make setup and getting the game going. I, I would go to far as to say for something like this, this feels almost essential to me if you're going to play the game a lot because it, the last thing you want to be doing is sorting through 2100 counters to try to figure out where something is. And with this, it's so fast to find the counters. And I'll show some more as we go through here. but. Um, it's really easy to find where everything is. So here are some more counters. We have the Numidians down here and some, I think, I'm not quite sure what these are. Oh yeah, so one thing too, I had a little bit of extra space at the end. I had two squares extra, so I pulled some of the markers out and put them in here. A lot of these are Roman legions and taking a look at these too, the way they worked, uh, most of the Roman legions have 10 counters or 20 counters in them. So I was able to put 10 of, uh, 
you, this is two legions in here, so Syria B and Syria A, and put them half up so you can see on the top which one's in here. So if you're looking for, say, Syria B, you're going to be looking around here, bingo, here's their marker, here's their kind of standard, and here are all the counters. Super easy to find them. You know, where's the, the, the Roman, the, yeah, if you're looking for Numidians, these are all in here. And we'll take a look at some more as we go to here. Here are most of the Roman legion ones. So these, again, are the same type of thing. I guess I won't open this. We've got leaders here. Legion's super easy. So I'm looking for, like, the 20th legion. Uh, where is it? Okay, I did them in numerical order. Here's the standard. Here's the counters right there. Boom, you're taking them out. So fast to access these. And for a game with this many counters, I feel like this would just be, it would make things so much more enjoyable setting up games and stuff like that. So really happy with how the counters fit into the trays. Now the question is, however, will the counters get back into the box? Now, there's a couple things to say about this, but I'm going to bring the box in here and zoom out, and then we're going to take a look at that to see if it fits. All right, so now comes the moment of truth. Now, I took the insert out here. This is the vertical insert that raises up some of the components in the box. So I took that out because getting 2,100 counters back in a box like this would be a huge thing. So first up, we're going to take all of the player aids, the manuals, and the boatload of maps that go into the game. And I'm going to put them in there, and it's about half way up right now. Now the next thing I need to put in are the game tray counters. Now I've got the covers on here, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment here. Put the counters in, looking pretty good. This is pretty level, right? But then put the dice in, put the cover on, it does not fit. We are, it is a fail. We, we've got about a quarter inch, half inch that the cover pushes up, but, but, Hold your horses here because there's a couple of solutions for it. I real realized about it afterwards. So one person told me uh, online, they said, if you take the covers off, that's the way they're designed to stack. And I will say, if I take the, the three covers on the lower trays off and nest them up in, so using the bottom of the top tray as the cover for the trays underneath of it, then I could get the dice in and I can close the box. However, I'm kind of fixated on the idea of having the covers on all the trays. I just think they come out cleaner and they don't kind of, it's just less likely to, for, to kind of these to go flying all over the place. So I kind of really wanted to have all of the, all of the counters in all of the covers on the, the trays and have all the counters set up that way. And then I realized there's something I can do and Here's what it is. If I take the cover off this one, this counter here, this is the deeper one of the four that I've got on the top here. And then I take the dice out of the baggie here, move that off to the side. And then I put, I just move these over just a little bit. Whoops, we went, got one flying around here. And put the dice right there in the corner here. And I'll do this to all three. So I got the dice in them. Now I can put the cover back on this have the covers on all four of the trays, drop them back in here, put the cover on the box, and it is perfect. It is an absolute fit. All 2,065 counters, all of the materials, dice and everything back in with the four, the four trays covered, everything back in the box, Julius Caesar, versus Cube for me, Cube for me storage solution pulls out the victory here. I am so impressed with this solution. I mean, I, I can't, I, I cannot imagine going back to any other storage solution for a game this big. You know, I think if you've got a game that is smaller, if you've got a few hundred pieces or something like that, whether you use baggies or trays or something like that, you know, you're still gonna find a pretty easy solution and setup's gonna be pretty fast. But for a game that has this many counters. I mean, this is just nuts how many counters here. To be able to pull them out in four trays like this with the visibility and how flat they are and how thin they are and getting them back in the box and being able to access them again, super big thumbs up for me in terms of what I think about the quality. They're affordable too. I just think this is, this is eye-opening. I cannot, if you told me beforehand that you could get 2,100 counters in such an organized fashion back into this box, I would have said no way, but this just works. It's so slick. So there you have it. 
Julius Caesar, the Great Battles of Julius Caesar Deluxe Edition versus the Cube for Me Storage Tray Solution. The victor, by a huge margin, goes to the Cube for Me Storage Solution. Big thumbs up for me. I'd be happy to answer any questions if you have them. I'll also got to put a link here to a couple other videos. We're doing unboxing of a couple other games, uh, Empire of the Sun and then Commands and Colors Ancients, where we do an unboxing and then show the storage solution at the end of that if you'd like to see more of the storage solutions in action. Be happy to answer questions if I can. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.